at me while I wear a hat. Why? Because <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't normally wear hats. I don't understand what's happening right now. I don't right either, now. people. You don't normally wear hats on streams. True. You Especially have, big hats like You have this. to protect your head out in the sun. I know. Because you do wear hats then. I do. But not, yeah. uh, not hats like this. No, I, no, we definitely don't wear hats like this on a regular basis. I think we look so cool. <laughs> And you said you wanted to do this just for the beginning, but I want to wear mine the whole time. Fine. <laughs> you gonna wear yours the whole time? Sure. Okay, let's do it. Why not? All right, well, hello world. <laughs> Welcome. Um, there is a reason why we're wearing these hats. Yes. Because we're about to play The Hobbit. No. Oh, Harry Potter House Cup competition. Yes, from now, the op. From the op, so I want to, I want to show major props to the op. Um, the op has supported Lighten Up for a very long time. Yes, they've been really incredible and, and such a positive influence and we're very grateful for that. Yeah, they um, provide us with copies to review and to stream and they're just a great, great company. So if you feel, the, uh, feel led to buy a game, maybe, I recommend buying from the op because they're awesome. Yeah, they've got really nice games coming out and yeah. more coming down the pike. So just go check them out and see what they've got to offer. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> okay, so we don't have a whole lot of fancy screens tonight. We're just going to chill out here and then we're going to go to the game when we're playing. Mm -hmm. And uh, which we might do that here in a bit. But um, welcome again. Welcome to this live stream of Harry Potter House Cup competition. And... Without further anything else to do, um, I see that uh, nobody's quite joined us yet, but why don't we go ahead and get in to the, or do you want to keep talking? Well, uh, we can talk a little bit about like what's happening in the game. Okay. So uh, we get to each pick a house. Um, I chose Hufflepuff because I am a Hufflepuff. And I chose Two Story. Uh, Ravenclaw. Why? Is what I chose. Um, well... I didn't want to be the obvious choice, Hogwarts, and nobody wants to be Slytherin. I mean, not <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to be the obvious choice, uh, Gryffindor, <laughs> or the one that nobody likes, Slytherin. Yeah. So that left, and you're and a diehard Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. It's like, uh, I'll take the one that's left. Okay. So. <laughs> so you took that. And so you Great. took Ravenclaw, or. Um, Hufflepuff because you are a Hufflepuff. Yes. I took the test. That's what I am. I took a test. Took the test too, but I don't remember. And um, so what we're doing in this game is we each take a house. We have three students from each house that we are playing with. They are our workers that we will be placing either at the professor's office, in the library, or in the classrooms to be leveling up their different... Um, there are different subjects at school, like potions and charms. And I'm guessing, is this Defense Against the Dark Arts, the yeah, shield the, you symbol? You know what? While we're doing this, I'm going to look for the correct terminology. Yeah, it is Defense Against oh, the Dark Arts. Oh, Defense Against the Dark Arts. On my arts. icon reference card. Those are handy. Thanks, the op. So what we'll be doing in each of those things, uh, we'll be um, increasing a level um, in that subject, and that's going to help us to be able to complete some challenges uh, There are easy challenges and hard challenges. Spencer's taking a selfie. <laughs> and um, there's uh, different lessons that we can do that will help us increase those things as well. And what we're going to do when we complete challenges, we will get to gain some of our, oh, I love this component. Here. Oh, that's the best. This, uh, it's the stuff that drops into the house cup competition being in the Great Hall, which uh, when we go to our main board, you'll kind of see it in the background. Spencer's put us into the Great Hall at Hogwarts. Um, now, yeah, I sent my things going all oh, no. over the board. I'm trying to get but some this people. This is so pretty. Look at this thing. So we've got these um, little test tubes with quartz that each house's little gems are in. Um, but we will. Uh, be putting those in as we gain them from challenges and it'll always say like 20, 30, 40. Each gem is worth 10 mm -hmm. house points. But it's not a thing where we go till you fill it up. Right. We only get seven rounds to put in as many as we can. 
So we will both be trying to build the most efficient system going, mm -hmm. I guess, with our workers, placing them, getting those different subjects leveled up best so that we can really churn out those house points. Yeah. And um, will we be, let's see, you're looking more Gandalf the Grey. I think I look kind of like Professor McGonagall, even though she's Gryffindor. I am Luna Lovegood. <laughs> you have Luna Lovegood, love good, but so I yes, I'll be playing with Cedric Diggory, Zachariah Smith, and Hannah Abbott. So on my team, I have Luna Lovegood, Cho Chang, and Padma Patil. Yes, and so we Why, will. Should we go ahead and go to the board? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and show them the board. Right. Show them what this looks like. So here we have. We are in the Great Hall, as Laura mentioned. Mm -hmm. We've got a nice chat waiting for people to join. Chime in. in. Whenever you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, let's see. So Laura talked about there are seven rounds. This is where we're keeping track of our rounds. Mm -hmm. On the board, there are different locations we're going to go to to get certain things, whether it's magic or knowledge, or we're going to increase our skills in different uh, subjects. Whichever level we want, or if we want to increase specifically in potions, charms, or defense against the dark arts. Mm -hmm. Um, and then also as the round tracker moves along, you can kind of see that some of these circles are larger than the others. So on these larger circles, we'll be revealing a new location, um, which are different places in the wizarding world, uh, different fun little places where you can gain extra stuff. Like this one, because this one's different every time you play, mm -hmm. is platform nine and three quarters. So that's a new location that you can go to that, that starts out the game. So right, it so that's something that varies from game to game. Yeah. Not just that, but also these things down here as well, mm -hmm. uh, which is really cool and adds uh, that little spice, that little variety yes. to the game. Yep, I like that. Cool. And because there are several of those cards and so you never know what's gonna come out. Right, let's see, this looks like... Well, now it's crooked at the top. Is it? Yeah. Why is it? Oh, it's because of the angle that the camera. camera's at. Oh, okay. I was hoping no one would notice. Sorry, <laughs> just me. Okay. All right, so I guess we can get started. Um, the person that most recently took a class, or that was most recently in school, gets to go first. Laura's taking acting classes, and she was in that on Monday, so that's you. And the first player marker is Hedwig. Hedwig bringing, the owl. Bringing a, a letter to Harry Potter. Or is it to Luna? It says, oh. I can read it on there, Harry uh, Potter. I believe you. See? Mm -hmm. See? I see that. Okay. All right. So let's get started. Okay. So you start out um, normally in a round. Uh, you start out by completing a lesson, but we're supposed oh, to start with Oh, we're supposed to start with two cards. lessons. Yep. Draw two lessons, please. Two basic? Two basics. Okay. Because you're so basic. There you go. Thank you. But usually when you're starting out at the very beginning of the game, you're not going to have enough in any of your subjects to be able to complete any lessons. Mm -hmm. So you can skip that step for the very beginning of the yeah. game. All right, so let me look and see what my lessons were here. All right. All right, I'm gonna send Cedric to potions class. So he will increase his knowledge in his potions and he will be taking a basic challenge from over here, the purple cards. Let's do Take that. this one. All right, and you said I'm supposed to keep these face down from you? Yes, well, uh, no, they're open knowledge. Okay, because I mean, it was laying there face up, yeah. you saw me pick yeah, it up. Yeah, that's so. right, it's open knowledge. <laughs> what am I hiding here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, my turn? Yes. Who I'm excited, because Padma is coming out. Makes me think of Padme. Oh. This is just a difference in one letter. There you go. Here I go. Going to charms class. So we're going to move up. That's what it sounds like when she's learning. Oh, dear. Um, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> we're going to get this. Avoid. Get past the Hungarian horntail. Challenge. Ooh. It's part of the Triwizard Tournament. Um, okay, I'll stay with it. Sometimes you'll get points or get the gems, but sometimes you'll get that and something else. Mm -hmm. So like, this one's really good because you get to go up level, but it's only 10 points. So that's a trade-off you have to... Mm -hmm. That's so true. 
Okay, I will come. Um, what are you laughing at? Chris Wave over Overboard replied to my uh, selfie. Nice. Like, well, why don't you just come into the stream and say it? Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm butting your hat. <laughs> Sorry. I get to take a uh, hard challenge. Hard challenges are harder, and they give you more points. Okay. Um, I can't do this. Luna. Luna is going to the library. Drop some knowledge. Okay. And, well, then Hannah is going to go increase her defense against the dark arts knowledge. And take another basic challenge. The reason why we're gaining our knowledge is because the higher your knowledge is in each, or not knowledge, but your skills in each of the different subjects, there are like requirements that you're going to need to complete these challenges. Like you may need a four in um, defense in order to complete a challenge. Um, now, you may not always have a character that's up to four. You can have two characters work together to complete. You can even have three characters work together to complete a challenge. So the higher you get them uh, on each of their respective slots, the better. Okay, Cho. Cho is going to go. I don't have any. Ch I did get a challenge, didn't I? My hat's too tight. <laughs> um, and you took all the good places. Oh, I could go. Nope, she doesn't have a... Yeah. Yeah, you've got knowledge that you can yeah, spend Yeah, all right. There. She's going to go there. Going to spend knowledge. And she goes up a level in... Let's make it charms. Okay. And then we get a hard challenge. Mm-hmm. Oh, I want the 60-pointer. It might take me the whole game to finish it, but I'm going to do it. Gosh right. darn it. Okay, so that's the round. That's the end of the round. Um, well, it, it's it, the end of that phase of the round. Now it's the challenge phase. That's right, yes. Yeah. So now if any of your students combined have enough of potions, charms, or defense against the dark arts, uh, or even some knowledge tokens or magic tokens, which are represented with sorting hats. Uh, if you have enough characters combined, students combined, that can contribute to those, then you can complete a challenge. Uh, at this point, though... I can't. We haven't really... I have some pretty difficult challenges. ...done enough yet, so, so you're going to have to get to work. All right, so we went to round two. No, I'm the first player. You're the first player, and now we have a new location revealed, and Ooh. it's Honey Dukes. And if you go there and spend a magic and a knowledge token, you can level up twice. That's amazing. So you can use that to level up two subjects once for that student that goes there, mm -hmm. or one subject two times. That is correct. Got it. I understand. No, this is not the first time I'm playing this game. Okay. Me first. Yes. Yes, it is. Padma. She's going to first she's going to do a lesson. She's going to cast a cheering charm. Cheer. And I play this. And the requirement is that she has to be at least a 2 in charms. And so I'll play that and I'll get a magic symbol. And then she's going to go, hmm, why not? She's going to go to Honey Dukes, spend a knowledge and a magic. I hear our child coming. Mm-hmm. And go up two levels. Okay. One, two. All right, my turn. So then Cedric Degree is going to use an invigoration draft. Oh, because he is a level two with potions, but it says any player can increase their potions. Oh, is that what that means? Yes. It has like any silhouettes. Yeah. It says any student. Okay, so you're going to let Luna do that? No, any okay. student. I'm going to let Zacharias increase his potions one. So that's that. And Cedric will now go to... 
This is so sad. Like we normally have at least two people it's watching. It's all students thing. Everybody watching on the replay it's is going to be like. It's been a knowledge. These guys, they feel, they're going to feel sorry for us because no one's talking. These guys. Hi, Jane. Okay. Go to sleep, please. And I'm going to get an advanced lesson. And I will get, let's see, an imp. Defeat an imp. All right. Okay. I'm okay. going to refill. The, oh, yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, let's see. I think what I want to do is show... No, poor Luna. She hasn't done anything yet. So she's going to come over here, spend the knowledge, and then she will go up a level. How about one, two, three, four, five, and defense. All right. And I get one of these. Okay, I will which one? Take. I'll take this one. I'm gonna evade the Dementor. Ooh. Well. You know, the worst thing about prison was it's the Dementors. Yeah, prison Mike. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Zacharias is going to brew an antidote to common potion poisons. Sorry, because uh, he's at a level two in potions, mm -hmm. so he'll get to knowledge, and he's gonna go to. Charms class. And oh no. Do do do. Okay. All right. Your turn. Here comes Cho. She's going to do an enlargement charm. There she comes. Um, she's casting enlargement charm on her brain so she could become smarter. Mm. So any character can go up in charms. So she's going to help Luna out, like that. Yeah. And then she's going to go get some knowledge. There you go. All right, Hannah will... Hmm. I'm going to yell at Chris. Oh, you need to... Increase, or we need to refill that. All right. Uh, let's. Hmm. Hannah, let's get you some more defense against the dark arts then, my dear. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the... All right. When we first played this, I was like, I'm getting all of these challenges. I don't want all of these, but you do. Because mm -hmm. the more you have, the more options you have to choose from. That's right. Okay, uh, that's a, that will be the end of the round, Okay. I believe. And now it's challenge time. So I know for a fact I can complete a challenge this time. Well, lucky you. So I'm going to take my characters. And we are going to work on... Um, so I'll need Padmil. Hmm? Padmil? Padma? I'm sorry, Padma. I got, I was mixing her last name. And, hello, Leon. Nice of you to join us. You're the first one to join. Very thankful that you're here. Uh, we're just playing a game, having some fun, having a little friendly competition here. Hey, do you like our hats? Okay. So, Cho, scare them off. three, actually all of us need to come and do this, but we can do it. All my uh, characters are working together. We get three, that's satisfying, gems. Well then, if we're going to play that game, I'm going to send Cedric and Hannah to go avoid the rogue bludger. Let's see, Zacharias. It's not quite there yet. So we will get two 
Am I on this side? Yep. Okay. <laughs> there we go. And I get to level up one. And I guess it has to be one of the students Oops, that completes the challenge? Yep. Okay. Well, then let's level Oops, up. I should just print a book. Hmm. Cedric in Charms. There we go. Good work. And completed challenges go up here on the player board. Oop, face down. <laughs> Why? That is the rule. <laughs> okay, and then these guys go right here. And we pass this. I need that. Thank you very much. Now on round three. Almost halfway there. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, then, um, Hannah will defeat an imp. So we will gain these two tokens. Leon has never played this game, definitely wants to see it played. Well, this is your perfect opportunity. This is a typical standard worker placement game. You put your workers out, you do stuff, get stuff, and you turn around and use that to do other stuff. So because she defeated the imp, she gained a knowledge and a magic token. So now we will go to Honey Dukes and spend those to level up two of our mm. things. So we're gonna do this and yeah. Nah, this. There we Ooh, go. We're going to get a hard lesson. All right, your turn. Is there an advanced lesson, please? I guess if you go here, but that's for three players. Or you can go here, because this means you can get either one. Mm -hmm. But I don't want the first player token. This is for all students? Yeah. Luna is going to go here. Spend a magic, or sorry, a knowledge, and I want. Yes. I should have thought this. You through. wanted a lesson so bad, and yet you froze up when it was time to pick one. Well, I'll take this. Okay. A hard lesson, advanced lesson. Uh, Miss. Na oh, oh. Got it. Got it. Okay. There we. Oop. All right, so then let's see here. Zacharias will oh, she didn't go up in a skill. He'll go to this. It should be pre goblets of fire, but there's a challenge in here about facing the Norwegian Ridgeback and. Yeah. I think we're all pretending that everyone's alive <laughs> and everything exists at one point in time. <laughs> okay, I will take that. Yeah, there's just some things about the characters. So I, I will say that after playing this and having played things like Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle and The Duel, and Death Eaters Rising. I really liked all the characters having, each of the students having their individual characteristics because each student has its own strength. Uh, I understand that those games are, um, let's see, Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle is cooperative, Duel is not, um, Death Eaters Rising is, this is not. So I can understand why they're not individualized. But however, I still see that like each student would have their own strength as far as like which subjects they're really good at. So I think some students would start out with more in some subjects. Maybe an expansion. But that's, and, and so I miss that. Yeah. Okay, I went. Marcelo says so many Harry Potter games. Yes. I, I know you, Marcelo. <laughs> You've watched several of our streams. Yes, there are so many Harry Potter games. And, like, there's others that we haven't played. Like, there's a code names, right? Yeah. That we yeah, mm -hmm. haven't played that one. Lots and lots. This hat is hot. Oh. Are you going to chicken out? Nope. I'm going to wear it the whole time. Yeah, let's refill Oops, the thanks. hard challenges there. Ooh, you can join the Order of the Phoenix. That sounds awesome. Let's get Cedric going in Charms class. And... Get another challenge over here. Our little indicator on our chat widget is broken. It says that nobody's watching. It does. That's sad. 
<laughs> but we're so thankful to Leon and Marcel for jumping into the chat. Thanks for saying yes. something, saying hello. Y'all are awesome. And anybody out there who wants to chime in, feel free. Is that Cho? Cho. The chosen one. <laughs> so funny. It's going to go up in defense and get a challenge, which will be. Hmm, nobody can do that. But might be able to soon. That's it. Okay, so now it's challenge time. So if you can, um, or so yes, I know you too as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So um, now we can look and see who of our characters we can actually kind of combine in order to complete some of these challenges. No. So Cedric can actually complete a challenge by himself. The receive letters from no two. one. Two. And so then let's see about getting Zacharias and Hannah combined. On a challenge here. I'm gonna send Luna and Cho to evade the Dementor. Actually, Hannah can complete one by herself. She can do this one. And we will get one gem. And then one person gets a level. So that will be. Oh, and if you gain a level and it helps you defeat another one on that same challenge on mm -hmm. that same round you can go ahead and use that towards another challenge but okay so um cedric and hannah cedric is going to complete the receive letters from no one that gets us 10 points to hufflepuff and a knowledge and then hannah will complete the Rehome Norbert, the Norwegian Ridgeback. That is 20 points to Hufflepuff. And a basic lesson. Which one well do done. I want? Let's see here. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do that. Ah! Okay. And I believe that you are first player now. Ooh, good. And we are now here. We reveal a new location. All right. And it's the Gringotts. Green dots. Gringotts? Not green, green dots. dots? It's fine. Oh, look at that. You get so you four to, books. So you have to be at least a level three in one of your subjects in order to go there now. Mm -hmm. And you can get four knowledge. Mm. Kind of makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Is there knowledge at the bank? Oh, there's all sorts of stuff locked up in that bank. Oh, <laughs> like Harry Potter's money? Among other things. Um... Luna, oh, I need some magic. Padma, go get some magic. One, two. Okay, let's see. I We'll send. You put a closer look at the board. Zacharias to. Here's what it looks like. Platform nine and three quarters, and spend a knowledge in order to level up. Oh no! Potions. <laughs> What's wrong? <coughs> Marcelo, how could you? Remember that one time that Spencer said something about Neville's parents? <laughs> 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 yes, Marcelo. I do. Oh. Uh, Marcel, how could you? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Um, I also get to gain a... It, there's a glare on these cards, so it's oh. kind of hard for me to see from over here. Mm, I think I can do this. All right. Good work. Thank you. It always, like, it comes to my turn, and then I'm like, oh, what should I do now? So I should be thinking of that before. Okay, I like this. <laughs> Marcel, <laughs> I hope that was okay. <laughs> Is this? Oh, that says a magic and a book. Oops. Yes, you've done that before. Yeah, but I don't think I spent a magic. 
And I'll go there again. I think you did. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> and then, so she'll go up to one, two. Okay, so Hannah is going to complete a basic lesson, uh, which is three in Defense Against the Dark Arts, which she's actually at a level four. And um, it says, each other player must give you one knowledge. And for each player who cannot, I gain a magic from the supply. So, can you give me some knowledge? How many? From your supply. One. Oh, that's so rude. Leon yeah, wants yeah. to know, chat, how do you feel about sleeving cards? It's a good question. Is it my turn? I think it, no, Hannah's still going to be placed. I think it kind of depends on the game. Mm. Right? Yeah. Uh, I can't go there. I'll do this. There have been two games that I have sleeved. Sleeved? Sleved. Sleeved. Uh, one <laughs> is... <laughs> that was a good snort. Thank you. Um, one was the mind, because you're always shuffling and passing them around. And, do you uh, another one was Cthulhu Realms, because again, it's a deck builder. You're shuffling cards and doing all that. Uh, Marcelo doesn't sleeve his cards, but would consider doing it for some of his favorite games like Hogwarts Battle and Death Eaters Rising. Mm -hmm. Harry Potter games. Okay. Leon can sleeve cards for hours. He finds it very relaxing. Oh, we sleeve cards every time we play. Oh, God. Mystic Veil. Mystic Veil. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I will say one thing we mistakenly did not sleeve <laughs> was the crew. Mm. There's something about the cards in the crew. There's just. Cho, you're way behind. They're just kind of a lesser quality, I guess, and then we have some friends who took the game, and in one weekend, they beat every single level in the crew, and it totally wore the cards out, <laughs> so much so we had to get a new game. All right, I need to get some new lessons. So, um... Oh, I can't go there. Oh, yeah, it's three plus players. She is three level... Or, no, she doesn't have a level three in anything. What a... Then you need to come Sadness. Around. Um, but yeah, those cards really needed to be sleeved. It's just hard for me. You have to get the cards Defense. turned just right to shuffle them. Otherwise it feels like you're ripping the sleeve. Cause that's kind of what happens sometimes when we play Mystic Veil from AEG that, uh, the sleeves can kind of start Defense. splitting along the edges. Uh, but one thing we really enjoy, we find, uh, I don't know if it's relaxing or if it's just like satisfying as of those inserts that you put into the sleeves in Mystic Veil. They have that plastic film covering, you know, that comes like on your new microwave or refrigerator that keep it from scratching. And you get take that off of every single one of those things in that game. And it's very nice. Oh my goodness. Leon sleeved every card in Top Twilight Imperium 4. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but did so joyfully. He sleeved it he joyfully. kind of feel that way about punching. Punching things out, yeah. We just sit there and watch TV and punch mm -hmm. games. <laughs> um, I'm finished. Sorry. Um, all right, so Cedric will... What will Cedric do? Oh, Cedric? Well, no, I don't really want to do that. I guess Cedric is going to come here and spend two knowledge and a magic to level up twice. I'm gonna tell the story dramatically, um, recreate something, the story that Marcelo just wrote. Marcelo and his friends one time acquired a game called Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. Long ago, in fact, it was so long ago that it was three years ago. Did they play it when they first got it? No. They play it a month later? No. I know what you're thinking. Surely they played it a year later. No. They played it. It took them three years to even play that. And it was, it was sitting at the back of their closet this whole time for three years. And then one day, one day in January of this year, they broke it out. And they had so much fun that, get this, they've played it every single weekend since. Wow. 
Wow. So and I'm guessing, did y'all add in like the monster, the monster box of monsters, monster box of monsters to, and then there's the new one, uh, charms and potions, I think is what it's called. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Do you have the expansions, Marcelo? Yeah, that would be, that definitely would be a good game. Good. That would definitely be a game that needs sleeves. Yes. Okay. Leon, a lot of Kickstarter games now offer sleeves. Got super fancy brawl with the sleeves. You know, uh, one game, um, Lovecraft Letter. Mm, that AEG, came, with came with custom sleeves. They weren't just like clear. They had like they printed had on the, the back. They had the same back as the back of the cards. They were the same dimensions as the cards because the cards are, they're not exactly like tarot. Tar they're like tarot, but skinnier. Mm, yeah. Like they're as long as tarot card, but not as wide. Uh, which is kind of interesting. All right. uh, Marcella says that that game got them through quarantine. I believe it. Mm. And that's awesome that you had that game for that. So I'm really glad for y'all. That's cool. Time to complete some challenges. Right? Yep. All right. So I'll bring my characters back. Okay, me too. Me too. Let's see what we can do here. Three... Two, four. Oh, Luna can do this one all by herself. Beautiful. And then, so Luna is joining the dueling club. And then Cho and Padma. Oh, they can't do that one. Total fail. Okay. Well, I'll get two. Okay. Blink. 20 points to Ravenclaw. Cedric will view the and mirror of your said. And then... Sounds like Marcello has had some good times with Harry Potter, Hogwarts Battle, and some other games to cleanse the palate. And Leon got through quarantine with Super Fantasy Brawl. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Marcella, for the epic story. Um, I'm happy to do that. A dramatic reading. Yes, I, I love <laughs> retelling stories in my own special way. In case you were wondering, the faces I was making are exactly what it used to be like when we would record Married with Four Kings. <laughs> and I would then be like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> there are faces I'm very, very familiar with. Yes, he's accustomed to. Okay. I guess that's really all I can do is Cedric, unless I do, hang on, guys. Just hold on a sec. Look at me. I'm holding on. Oh, you. That was too easy, sorry. Nope. Okay. Cedric will view the mirror of Erised and get 20 points for Hufflepuff and magic. So Leon and his game groups also like the Harry Potter deck builder. If you like that and you like Toy Story, they do have the Toy Story Obstacles and Adventures game, which is very similar. There are some changes. I think it's harder. Oh, definitely. It adds it adds new stuff in there that makes it a totally different game yep. from Harry Potter, um, which I loved Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle, um, but the Toy Story one, I'm glad that it has something and it makes it feel different. Just mm -hmm. like we've talked about how Death Eaters Rising is definitely a different game from Batman Who Laughs Rising, uh, just in the way that it plays. Uh, mm -hmm. They've got new stuff there that it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, well then, let's have, I guess it's just Hannah Abbott who can complete this lesson. So she's going to defeat a hag and is going to let any other student level up uh, defense against the dark arts. So we will uh, let Zacharias is going to level that up. And we completed this lesson. And so then Hannah... We'll go to, yeah, she'll go to Defense Against the Dark Arts class. And we spend a magic, and now she is at level five in Defense Against the Dark Arts. 
Yeah, Leon, if you're curious, we did a playthrough of uh, Toy Story Obstacles and Adventure, Adventures, so you can find that on this channel. Um, but again, that was just the very first one, so it's going to seem very familiar to Harry Potter. But once you get through, Ooh, start man. working your way once through, you get through to like the fifth The different game. movies, yeah. Because, um, yeah, it does the movies, then it does the shorts as mm -hmm. well. We're stuck right now on the Toy Story of Terror level. Or, we, did we're, we we're, that yeah, we're, we're, we haven't done the last, we haven't done Toy Story 4. Okay. The last one we need to do. Yeah. It's, it's really cool how it works, so. Okay. I heard a child. Again? Mm -hmm. What is she doing awake? I don't know. We're going to come over here and get oh, some books. Some knowledge. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Marcella wants to know what our strategies are for this game. And if we've played it before. We played it once. We played it last night. And I still have no strategy. <laughs> we're still figuring out the strategy and how to be efficient in what we're doing. Um, what I am doing, I kind of decided on about halfway through this game, is I'm looking at my challenge cards and trying to get my people to where they need to be to, uh, com to complete those challenges um, with as few people as possible. That way I can complete more challenges. Let's have Cedric go to potions class and then get one of these. If you could see what we could see out of the corner of our, your eye, it's creepy. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Cho is going to go. She needs to get some levels up. So I spend two knowledge and a magic. And then she's going to go up in defense and potions. Okay. We have a child that sometimes has trouble going to sleep at night. It's not consistent, but... On the night that we stream, of course, she has trouble, so. Well, what are you going to do? <laughs> okay. She's four, by the way. Yeah. All right, then Zacharias will, hmm. Interesting, interesting. I guess he'll go here and get a magic and a hard challenge. Let's do... That's, that's pretty we'll smart. Marcelo says, I have a gopher. Go for this and that. Try to complete a hard and easy challenge if possible, always. If not two easy challenges, then specialize the characters in one category. That's that, interesting. I hadn't thought of that. That is part of the the stipulations in the challenge phase is uh, you can complete up to two easy challenges or one easy and one hard. Uh, Luna will go up. Uh, she's got to spend a hat to do it, but she's going to go up to five in defense. Oops, she's got to go. She's gonna do that. <laughs> in, uh, charms. Charms. She's actually got to go do something. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll take. Uh, four. We'll take. Oh gosh. This. Okay. All right. Challenge time, and I'm going to do the most epic challenge. All of my team, do I need all of them? I think I do. Two, four, wait, no, I still can't do it. Oh wait, that's not the one I wanted to do. This is the one. Five. All right, so Cho and Luna 
are going to defend the seven potters. And then Padma cannot do anything by herself. We okay, did. well, Can Zacharias is going to chase a cat, a rat, and no. a dog. So that's going to give 10 points and some knowledge. Well, I get 60 points for saving the seven potters. And then Hannah and Cedric are going to hail the night bus, and that is 30. Oops. Okay, Spencer will two become books. first player. Cost me two books to do that, two knowledge. Six, and we have a new location, and it is the Ministry of Magic. Oh my goodness, you have to have a five to go there. Mm-hmm, and there's two different levels. Cool. When do we see Lighten Up Junior playing board games with you two? That's cute. <laughs> oh, Lighten Up Junior. Um, we actually have some reviews. I have reviews with... My children, Emma and Jane, our children, mm -hmm. Emma and Jane, there are a couple of on this channel. You've only done one live stream. Well, I did a live stream with Emma, mm -hmm. and then we did a recorded playthrough of Dragon Nest. No, the dragon one where you're like melting the ice. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever the, that is. It's a Hobbit game, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we haven't, we're going to be doing, actually, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, we're going to be doing a play along. So we're gonna do uh, a play along with Kahaba's Color It. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be um, facilitating that. You can download the sheet yourself. It's a roll and color game. Mm -hmm. You can download the sheet, print it off at home and, and play along. So be looking out for that. <laughs> okay, is that it? Yes, you're a first player. Okay, I've gotta think this through. Well, then I'll just wait. <laughs> Padma, you are killing me. I need stuff, but... All right, she's going to go up here and get a challenge. I don't like any of these. Okay, Hannah is gonna come to the Ministry of Magic and get 20 points for, for I keep oh, trying to Slytherin. say Slytherin. I see where Hubble you are. Puff and get a basic I see lesson. Uh, oh, any lesson. Hmm. Potter. Okay. Cho. We need some stuff. Got some knowledge. Okay. Good. Cedric is going to cast a cleaning charm and replace any or all face-up lesson cards. They're all going to go away. Bye-bye lesson oh. cards. Because I didn't want those. Ones. And I get to take one. What a deal. I have a hat. 
You already said that. Okay, we'll take this one. And that was Cedric completing that lesson, right? So then he's going to go hmm. to, I don't know. Let's send him to, oh, you already took potions. I'm more and more thinking about what Marcelo said about Can't do potions, though. specializing the characters. Can't do charms. If I went all in on I'll go here. potions with Luna, what would happen? Well, the, the complicated thing is that you have to be able to spend magic in order to get up to level five, and some, if you don't have the magic token, you're just kind of wasting your time button mm -hmm. up against it. Okay, that's it for me. All right, Zacharias, it's up to you now, buddy. I'll go to Charms and take a basic. Not good. You like any of those? No. Well, then uh, you're right. That is not good. I, my whole team, is going to work together to explore the noble and most ancient house of black. I've not Took all figured out which challenge I'm going to do. Let's have... Took all three of us, but we did it. So we get a an advanced challenge. Nobody's there or there. Cedric and Hannah can join the Order of the Phoenix. I don't like any of those. One, two, three. What can you do, Zacharias? I have these two advanced lessons that I can't do. And 40 points for Ravenclaw. Okay, I can't. 60 points. Marcelo, do you like three, Among Us? Four, five, and. Six. What is a board game fantasy uh, game uh, table? Oh, so like who are you playing with at the table? Oh, okay. Like who, who a dream to play with? Uh, Leon says Spencer, Laura, his daughter, and himself playing Castles of Burgundy. Oh. That would be fun. Maybe. You seem like a nice guy, um, playing Castles of Burgundy. What? Who would you? What? Like, don't think, don't worry about me. Like, think of other, I know you'd always include me. So who else would you play with and what game? Um, I guess. For, I'm sorry, I'm so confused. I'm <laughs> trying to. <laughs> make my strategy in the game, and he's trying to distract me from my strategy in the my game. My plan is working. No. Okay, Zacharias <laughs> is going to brew an invigoration draft, and any player can move up in potions, so Hannah will move up in potions. And Zacharias is going to go to Charms class and go up there. My hat is messed up now. Yeah. We're on the last round. I know. It's, Goodness. It's just, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen for me. Uh, I don't know. You completed, I bet you completed more challenges than I, I have. I doubt it. Oops. Okay, is it my turn? Yes. Padma needs to go up some levels. So she will pay knowledge and magic to go up in the have we done a playthrough? We didn't do a playthrough of Hogwarts Battle, or did we? Mm -mm. No, we did. Um, did we do the duel? We did the duel. Yeah. I don't remember seeing that on the channel though. I don't. I don't know what happened. Did to you it. not post it? Maybe. Because we did do a live play of 
Harry Potter. It was a while ago. Maybe that's why I don't duel, remember seeing it. Which is Hogwarts battle as a duel, and I love it, and it's so much fun because I beat Spencer really bad at it every time. Oh, a review. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Did you take your turn? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, we came over here. Oh, okay. I'll send. All right. Nope. That's not going to help. Um, well, to answer Leon's question, I would like to play Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective with mm-hmm. Morgan Freeman <laughs> and um, the Allstate guy. And they can do all the reading. Jake from Allstate? No, that's State Farm. The oh. guy that's also from the uh, oh, okay. that TV show. Mm-hmm. They've got great voices. So I would like to play Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective, and they can read it for me. And I can do all the work. Gotcha. Sounds like fun. Is it my turn? Yes. Um. You need stuff. You need... Cho needs to go up and... Oh no, you're there already! Grr. Can't go there. Ah, you've gone to all the good places. Well. We'll go here. And get. Nobody's there. Nobody's there. None of those are good. I don't think this one. Oh, it's. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. I, I don't think this is going to be a very good game. Okay. All right. And. To did, I, did I win last night? Wait, why am I taking these two? Yes, you did. Hmm. Big time. So Marcelo is talking about the newest expansion to Hogwarts Battle. Is that the Potions and Charms one? Is that what the name of it is? Okay. Yes. Do you like it? Um, what are your thoughts on it compared to the Monster Box of Monsters expansion? <laughs> I'm stuck. You uh, could always go to platform nine and three quarters. Ooh, Leon wants to know if we've tried Heroes of Land, Air, and Sea. If not, um, I had an opportunity one time to play it, but it I could it couldn't happen because I had a busy schedule, mm. unfortunately. But it looks epic. It looks awesome, and I've heard great things. <laughs> Are you going to lean over whenever I'm I do I'm just this? making sure we don't tap brims. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, 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 this makes me so mad. Wow, Marcelo is really selling that expansion. Easier, almost too easy, but then it evens out. But holy cow! Okay, I guess I can make this. Gives him plenty of playing time. Get additional powers, and they're super cool. Okay. I'm actually going to go to Gringotts Bank. This kind of game is not really my strong suit. Let's see, which heart is your favorite out of all the ones you've played? Seems like Polaris Defense Against the Dark Arts Duel. Yes, and, and, and this is why I'm gonna speak to that, Marcelo. We were both coming to the same point. I like beat-em-up games, is what I call them. 
where it's simply get the right card so you can just smash someone until they're dead. Um, euro -y worker yes. placement, like a lot of, I can't, I'm not that great at this kind of stuff. Although I have beat you twice at Lost Ruins. Oh, but that's, no, that, that is, that's in its own category of goodness stuff. Okay. Don't compare that to this or any other worker placement game. Okay. Um, <laughs> my favorite. All right, that's the end of the round, right? Harry Potter or game. It's time for phase two. My favorite Harry Potter game is um, Hogwarts Death Eaters Battle. Rising. Oh, Death Eater, oh, yeah. That one's fun. Mm -hmm. I, just, I like dice, rolling dice, even though it's really hard yeah. to win. Honestly, I think I kind of like, even though it was so hard, I kind of liked um, Batman Who Laughs Rising better. Oh, I do too, but I still like, and he's just asking Harry Potter games. Oh, okay, yeah. So, that's my favorite. Uh, same wavelength, I hear that. This game is so much planning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it, I'm... Trying to see all the steps is hard for me. Okay, well, okay. let's find out. Let's do our challenges. No, it's challenge time. Let's see if I can get two in one turn this time. Okay. Three. Three. Perfect. You go, Padma. Then. Two. Three. Two. Yep. Got it. I don't have a book. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, on my team, we're going to... Padma is going to read the tale of the three brothers. And we get 30 points. <laughs> I imagine, like... Because I'm getting 30 points for this challenge. So I'm, I imagine she's sitting on this stool. And she's reading this book. This tale of the three brothers. And then she goes, the end. And then Everybody cheers in the great hall. 30 points for <laughs> Ravenclaw. <laughs> and then Luna is going to play in the Quidditch final. I love the mental image Here's of 20. Luna playing Quidditch. It's quite entertaining. Mm. Okay. Final points. This is, it is, watch this. Okay, so... Zacharias and Hannah are going to fight educational degree number 24. It requires seven defense against the dark arts mm -hmm. and two knowledge. That is 40 points for Hufflepuff. And, oh, the level up has to be for one of the characters that did the... Mm -hmm. And there falls apart my plan. Yeah. Yep. Well, that just shot that to heck. Man. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Because it was going to let me level up a prayer, up, and I was going to use oh. it to level up Cedric. Look at that. All right, to people. To be able to complete and get another 30 Look points. at these. I know it's kind of hard to see because we're small on the screen. But who do you think won? Why don't you change the view then? Who do you think won? <laughs> okay, now do it. Those. I, come on, put them close together. Oh, that's right. You get points for hat and book pair. I think uh -huh. you get uh, uh, just Ten one, points. right? Ten points. Thank you for that reminder, Marcello. Um, per gym, per level tracker. No one's at level seven. And pair. I think you won. It looks that way right now. You, you, I'm telling you, you completed more challenges. Let's, how many challenges did well, you? Well, I just count the gems because they're so okay. pretty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Marcelo's going with you. What? 
210. Ah. You got it. I always like to double check my points with the cards too. Reassurance 30, count. 50, 70, 80, 90, 170. Here we go. But then there's also the extra from yeah. this. How many, how many challenges did you complete? One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, I completed seven. Man, I really thought like I needed that. Oh, it was going to be beautiful if I could have leveled up any player. I was going to level up Cedric one because I saved a magic for him. Mm -hmm. And I was going to be able to complete this other Enter the Chamber of Secrets for 30 more points. Mm -hmm. Marcelo, I did five easy, two hard. What about you? I did two hard, one, two, three, four, five, six, easy. Mm. Well, that's uh, it. Yeah. Beat him up. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> like, beat him up. I did beat him up this time, but I, I, I'll always remember there was one game in particular that I always beat Spencer at, and it was a Kickstarter preview that we did years ago, and I would change back and forth from melee to um, distance, like ranged weapon and I beat it, still beat him. <laughs> that's my game, that's my style. But we did it. Yeah. We played the whole game with our hats on, except yes. for when you uh, knocked yours off. Out. Bye Leon, Leon has to leave. Thanks for stopping by and watching the game. Marcelo, thank you again for joining us. Yes, thanks, thanks guys for, for talking to us. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with, with both of you, so thanks for being a part of it. Yeah. Um, good night, Marcelo. Good night, Leon. And good night to um, whoever else is out there <laughs> yes. watching silently <laughs> by the fire. We hope you enjoyed the game. We hope that you'll consider checking it out on the Ops website. Mm -hmm. Thanks again to the Op for this copy for us to be able to play and show to everybody. And um, what do you think? Uh, I had fun. Me too. Yeah, I had a good time. And um, I love work replacement games. And this one is this one is challenging. You're right. I didn't think it's deceptively challenging. When you go into it, it's like, oh, I'm just going to go put some. Yeah, it's true. Like, I remember the first game we played last night. I was trying to keep them even in the mm -hmm. subjects. Now, you need to do, like I was talking about, of let a student shine in a certain subject. Mm -hmm. you're, gonna, you're not going to be able to get all of them up to five on every subject. You yep. need to, yeah, just concentrate on one student doing really good on one subject, maybe. Yeah. Cool. There we go. All right. Well, thanks again so much for watching. Look forward to another live stream next week, I'm sure, some point. Um, Who knows? Uh, yeah, just be watching our <laughs> social media. We'll announce it with at least four hours of notice, yeah. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Bye. Thanks for joining.